Well, this wasn't exactly the video I anticipated making, but we have roaches in a car and it's not a rental. Let's see what we're gonna do to get them out. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another video. This is not a video that I wanted to make, but I think you will find some value in watching what I do. This is my wife's 2017 Toyota Avalon, and we made a discovery when we decided to vacuum the car out over the weekend that there is a small bug infestation inside this car, which is fantastic. And I mean that with the utmost sarcasm. So today we're going to remove everything from inside the car. We're going to take the seats out. We're going to take the carpet out. We're going to vacuum the car thoroughly, make sure there isn't a single sign of any more bugs, and we will clean and detail the car and put everything back together. So without further ado, let's get to work. So as you can see, I've already started doing some work to remove stuff. I actually just stepped on a bug over there and it was a rather large uh, roach. There looks to be another one maybe back there. And uh, I remember one, oh yeah, there's one right there too. So we're gonna try to kill that one too. Um, in hopes of uh, getting rid of this infestation uh, the easier way. Um, but we're definitely going to be removing uh, basically every piece of this interior so that we can get down to the bare bones of the metal and we will clean this car completely out. Now, the other question to ask is, can this happen to you? Is there a reason this happened to my wife of all people? The answer to this question is it can happen to anyone. And I'll tell you why. Now cars have a lot of crevices. They are also warm on the inside, typically from being driven. And they also carry a lot of what roaches tend to like to breed on, which is food. The moment that they discover the ability to get into a car, they can definitely come in here and go ahead and decide to build a home because this is nice and cozy and they like to hide underneath the rug. They like to hide in little small crevices. So that's why we are going to remove everything from the car so that we can have this car down to absolutely nothing on the inside and we will fully detail it.
So it will be the next day when we finally get to the next video or next part of the video. But we will go ahead and kill this other roach that I just found and then it just hid. But we're going to vacuum this car out. I'm actually going to probably go buy a bug bomb and put it inside the car. So we will work on that uh, maybe overnight and see how we do in the morning. Once we finish using the bug bomb, we will clean the inside of the car and get everything in here cleaned up. And then we will clean the stuff on the outside and slowly but surely put it back together. All right, it is the next morning and we are going to see if we have any, oh, I can already tell. Yep, we definitely got some, uh, some stuff. That's great. And that one that's stuck is still alive. That's nasty. But we're going to keep on leaving this as it is. And we'll see if we capture some more. All right. So now we're a little deeper into morning. And everything is pretty much the same as it was. Um, we do have a lot of baby bugs that are stuck on the... Uh, piece and we got a larger one over there um so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to run the vacuum we're going to clean everything out uh get this looking 100 percent, and then uh we will bust out the air compressor start cleaning all of the panels cleaning everything that i can inside the car and then we will move on to the outside which is all of that stuff right there so let's get to work All right, we are at day three. It is freezing cold in Florida. Um, I never thought I would be saying that, but I am from the north and I can tell when it's cold weather and this is northern type of cold. So we removed the glue traps, no new bugs showed up on it. So that is a good sign. So we are hoping that the cold has taken the rest of these bugs out and we are going to finally put this car back together. Every single panel is completely clean and ready to go. So without further ado, let's put this car back to the way it was.
here comes the final result in three, two, one. Man, what a transformation, and I'll tell you, that was quite the project. So all in all, how long did that take me? Between removing all of the interior panels, between removing the carpet, between shampooing, cleaning all of the panels themselves, cleaning the seats, putting everything back together, we were at just around four hours of labor, just for the interior alone. Now, it has been a couple days since we finish the car and the real question is did we do anything actually yes we did end up putting a couple of glue traps just to make sure that there wasn't anything else in the car and we did place bait underneath the carpet to hopefully capture whatever's left so while that project was an absolute bear to work on we finally finally have that car back to where it needs to be that is going to do it for today hopefully you enjoyed this content if you did give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you would like to see more of these types of videos leave a comment down below with what you thought and don't forget if you are in the jacksonville area make sure and visit achewrentals.com so you can rent any of our vehicles from small compact cars to large minivans have a great day everybody we'll see you in the next one